RC here with the first WizJet build on camera. Um, I have put some things in there. You can hear a slight tinging there, um, which I'm going to address how to get rid of that. Um, sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less. A lot of it has to do with how perfect you know, the mold came out and the way they come out, uh, the pins. Sometimes there's a little wiggle in the top plate that can help or hurt. The first thing I do want to build, however, is find a rear axle that is just snug and still free floats because you want the car to turn at maximum RPMs. The reason why I do that is I don't know how many builds I've had where I have peened or forgotten to peen the rear axle and went to put the crown gear in and it's either loose or too tight and doesn't turn. So that is the first thing that I actually do on a build is find a rear axle and a front axle. Um, this is the chassis I did with the peening example. Um, so therefore we can, you know, we don't have to do that with the front axle. So I've got that set aside. I've just got some gauge pins here. Um, since the front is peened, I'm going to recheck it for flatness. Because sometimes when you peen, you can you can cause it to three wheel through peening um, if the if the device isn't you know if you just don't get it centered straight. So we're really really flat there. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how I build a car. How I build a car is different from some people and that's just everybody's got a different style of doing things this so the first thing that I do on any Aurora or any car is this hole back here I, I just don't use it I I don't so I take an 068 reamer and run that through there open it up a little bit there's, there's no need for that hole all it is a friction point especially the way this is designed this doesn't wiggle. On some Aurora cars it does wiggle and sometimes that's necessary. So that is the first thing that I do to a chassis is I open that up. You can also cut the shaft, the cluster shaft off um, as well. And just show you another car here. You can just cut this shaft off, you know, right where the pinion gear is, right here. And if you do that, you eliminate that hole as well it does the same thing however the only time I would do that is if you peen the top plate like we're going to go over next is setting up the top plate so watch the next installment and we will go over how to make a top plate 